Hey, everybody, it's uh, your friendly neighborhood survivor buddy Gordon Holmes here with your exit interview for Survivor 45, episode four. And have I got questions for Sean? Um, what, what happened there? Uh, before we get into that, a couple of quick orders of business. My graphic novel, The Bad Guy, uh, came out yesterday on Legacy Comics. Uh, check it out if you get a chance. Only five bucks. I'd love it if you could, uh, if you want, if you would enjoy what we do here, give it a shot. Uh, it, I've been getting so many great comments of people who have read it and have been enjoying it. I hope you enjoy it as well. Uh, also, my uh, episode blogs are on Substack. Uh, the link will be down below. Also, the link for the comic book will be down below. Um, every, after every episode, we have a full episode recap with individual grades for each one of the players. Uh, the Survivor Power Rankings with Franny Marin every Monday. Um, she caught up some ground yesterday and I'm not thrilled about it, but she's doing a fantastic job. If you want to learn, get more and it's, it's truly the nerdiest thing you're ever going to do. Uh, but if you're into that kind if you're in a survivor, like Franny has some amazing insights and every now and then I think of something clever. Uh, so every Monday here on this YouTube channel, uh, also, if you get a chance, uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. Uh, that's all I got. Let's see what Sean has to say about last night's tribal council. Oh, Sean. Oh, Sean, I know, I know you've gotten this question a lot today. So let's just, we're just going to start off with it. Um, what's the deal with these toe? <laughs> oh my, you know what? I am it's, upset. D's toe, hashtag D's toe. <laughs> like it's, uh, it's, it's like this, right? It's this is what we're what doing. What is going with? on? You know what? I think she's just a superhuman. That's the only, yeah. the only explanation. She is a vault. Uh, Cause it, it like, imagine like a flipper, like a paddle. She might right. have some, yeah. Yeah, there's um, some evolutionary things going on. <laughs> I, I had two jokes prepped. It was either that or you were with, um, you know, your new tribe for only a day or two. During that time, how many Sifu uh, machete air guitar performances did you have to sit through? <laughs> four, four Steps Down is, in, is ingrained in my mind. It's like, you know, the soundtrack to my life now, yeah. so... Well, you know, you know what we have to talk about. Um, well, no, don't have to. I want to talk about it. Uh, so last night during Jeff's "I'm on Fire" podcast, available where all fine po podcasts are sold, he said that it looked like Sifu was going home based on the, the pre-interviews. Um, it was that what what you were led to believe, and like what happened that you ended up asking to be voted out? Yeah, thank you for asking that question. I had every inkling that Sifu was going to be the person voted out at tribal council that night. Um, I had many conversations with Jay, Julie, and D, where they reassured me time and time again, Sean, it's not going to be you. It's going to be Sifu. We're gonna pretend like it's you at tribal council, but it's not you. So um, going into tribal, I really knew, I felt in my heart of hearts that it's gonna be Sifu. Mm -hmm. So what, what happened was, what, cause Jeff asked a question about what your time as forever meant to you. Did that just bring up all the feels and that led to that? Is that, is that really what happened? Yeah, completely. I mean, to paint a little more context, um, my whole purpose, my core purpose for going into the game was reclaiming lost time. Of course, I wanted to win the million. I have had every intention to and going to be the sole survivor, but my real purpose was reclaiming lost time. And you know, loss after loss with Lulu, you know, you end up sitting in that failure and you start asking reflective questions of like, who am I? Why am I here? Why is this happening? Where am I going in this game? And it just started to kind of bubble up in those moments for me of like, you know what, maybe Survivor is not going to reclaim lost time for you, Sean. But I just kept pushing that down, pushing that down. I'm here to play, move forward, play hard. And it was literally going into that tribal council where I had this like revelatory moment where it was like, Sean, you don't need survivor to erase your past. You need to embrace your past because it's made you who you are today. And you're proud of the person you are today. And again, throughout tribal council, pushing that down, pushing that down. I want to stay. I'm a loyal member. Take me forward in your alliance. I'll be your pizza. I'll be whatever you want me to be, but just keep me around. And then Jeff asked that hinge question of, you know, if, if this is your, your time on survivor, Sean, what has this experience meant for you? And I'm not blaming or casting fault on Jeff for any reasons. Jeff's amazing. He's asking all the right questions. He's being the host with the mostest, right? Um, and in that moment, that's it, it almost like gave me permission to just like 
be like to share like these raw feelings and that's when it just all started pouring out in a way that felt like in the moment uncontrollable it was just all just coming out um these thoughts and these feelings that i've been having of that you know what like survivor is not fulfilling for me the core purpose of why i came out here and that's okay and i'm at peace with that so i can leave this game knowing that i'm a stronger person because i've had this experience it, it feels like your husband is more to blame than than Jeff is. Did you, did you come home and give him a piece of your mind? Like, why did you I have like, to be so wonderful? Right, Matt, oh, you're the worst. You did this to me. Um, no, you know, and, and that's so funny because people are like, you left the game to to be with your husband, but you know you have to go to Ponderosa, right? I mean, it was, I wasn't homesick. It wasn't like, oh, I need to leave this game to see my husband right away. That wasn't it. It was this revelation that like, I, Survivor wasn't fulfilling that core purpose of why I was there. And so I'm okay with leaving. I will say, if I'm being honest with myself, with you, with the fans, I wish I could have been more flexibly minded in that moment. I wish, I do. I have regret over the way that things happened the way they did. I wish as a super fan, I could have said I had this amazing, um, like, you know, inspirational moment. And now I can say I'm OK with that. I don't need to reclaim lost time, but I can still stay in this game and play it like a super fan would. And that's that's what i that's what i have regret over if i'm being honest well i i think where i keep getting stuck is i get hannah right i get hannah was out there this is not for me let's call it a day i feel like with you you know the survivor season's only like 11 days long now like what what's the harm in sticking you're gonna you're either gonna win or you're gonna get voted out eventually what's the harm in sticking it out and seeing how it goes yeah i and gordon thank you so much for that question i and that was my own confusion getting myself out of the show as well. Like I've been reflecting on that, on that moment. And like, why couldn't I have been thinking that way? And I just wasn't in that headspace because I was hyper. I mean, like I'm telling you, I was hyper focused on this one goal of reclaiming lost time that I ended up sabotaging and blindsiding everyone at tribal council, including myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we do a word association here to get to know your tribe mates a little bit better. Uh, I'll give you someone's name. Give me the first word, a couple words that pop in your head. And uh, let's start off with Hannah. Hilarious. Uh, Jay Maya. Love. Caleb. Magnetic. Okay. Uh, D. Spicy. Sabaya. Number one. Okay. Emily. Ooh, Emily. I would say sensational. Okay. Uh, Julie? Sweet. Uh, Brandon? Powerful. Uh, Sifu? Energy. And let's finish off. I know she was at your camp for a day. Let's try Kendra. Genuine. Uh, you got you, this, this new era? Too positive. Too positive with these words. <laughs> Every, amazing. The best. Um, oh my gosh. And and that's honestly how I am obsessed with the 45 cast. I truly am. Every single person is so incredible in their own way. And that's what's making this season so amazing. Well, going forward, the only answer I'm going to accept for Sifu is... <laughs> yes. Um, so you voted for D. Uh, what was the point? What was the, the purpose behind that calling her out? Um, For me again in that moment i'm so at peace with this idea of me going that if i had voted sifu i knew the girls wanted him out and so if they had still written his name down and i wrote his name down then i would end up staying in the game mm -hmm. and at that time that's just not where my headspace was at you know in some ways in another alternate version of survivor um maybe part of me wishes that that's maybe could have you know how it could have played out because i think if i had gone back with the reba girls i would have come to this realization that like i don't need to be out of this game i can still play as a super fan and and do really well um but that's just not where i was so d was a throwaway vote Sorry, D. I love you. Right. And just before we move on from this tribal, like it, it seems safe to say that there's like legitimate regret that you stepped out when you did, and that if 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 things had gone a different way, you could have gotten back into the game and and given it your all. Is that accurate? A hundred percent. Yes, yeah. I would say if I if we're being completely honest and I'm being very vulnerable right now, that is com 
that's very accurate. I wish I could have gone about it a different way. I stand by the lessons that I learned. I stand by this idea of just leaning into your truth, living authentically, being yourself, embracing failure. I stand by all that. And I wish I didn't, you know, have to take myself out of the game. Um, talking about uh, with your, your new tribe, um, this seemed like there was a women's alliance, but we hadn't seen really Jay Maya interacting uh, with Julie or D up to this point. Did did you notice a division between them or did the three seem solid when you were working with them? I would say the three seemed pretty, you know, D and Julie were um, make, you know, and Jay all were making it sound like the women's thing, what they had a thing going, that that was um, a very strong alliance. I would say that um, Jay felt very confident in the relationships with D and Julie. It felt to me like D and Julie were, I think they, you know, I think they were aligned with Jay. I think D and Julie were maybe tighter as a two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, also, uh, when when Sabaya was voted out, which um, there was no vote. Uh, when when the three of you got back to, to to camp, we didn't get to see your discussion of what had happened. But what did you think had happened? Why was there only three votes? Why did she not play? Like what what conclusion had your you, that trio come to? That's a that's a good question. I think it was just this like we just kind of assumed like because I know some... Emily's counting. I know Emily's counting. <laughs> Yes, every vote. She's looking. Um, we had just had assumed that um, Sabaya like lost for whatever reason. There was something with the idol where she lost her vote. So we had just kind of made that assumption. Okay. Um, Caleb targeting Caleb so early. Um, you know he's going to be trolled at the end. Well, yeah. Well, we're we're you know we're at the third tribal. Did you have any reservations about that, or were you fully on board with that plan? Yeah, you know, when Sabaya first brought it up to me, I think it set, showed in the show, like, I was like, oh, is it too early? And that's really how I felt. I felt like it was so early in the game to be making a move like that. And the more I talked with Sabaya, you know, she brought up the fact, you know, Caleb just went to Reba. He was very open about these connections that he made over there and how he had one on time, one on one time with every single Reba member. And Sabaya was like, Sean, we don't know when the merge is going to happen. That that could happen at any point now. You know, we based on past, you know, seasons, we can assume, but we don't really know. And so she was like, you know what, like, he could he could end up going with the people he made connections with at Reba and then we're out of you know our game and so the more I mold that over the more I thought about it I came to the conclusion that you know what I I am I'm on board with getting Caleb out at this point okay well Sean before I let you go we're running out of time uh, first of all thank you for being so open uh, I know it must have been tough to watch that last night especially if you, you were having second thoughts um also it is freaking me out your background because with the exception of that yellow throw pillow, it looks like it's all black and white. Like oh, when, when you move, oh. I see the picture of you. I think it's you and your <laughs> husband. It's a color. It is weird. Um, There's like a monochromatic thing happening here. I've never noticed that, but you know what? Maybe that's why I wore like my pop of right. color. So you, you pop, you pop. Um, <laughs> and, and finally, when your husband uh, comes home, give him grief from me um, for being so freaking wonderful that he made you, you, you know. I'll make I'll make yeah. sure to let you know. Tell him I say. I got That's a right. That Gordon guy. says. <laughs> All right. Well, Sean, thank you so much for your time. Gordon, thank you so much. I appreciate you. All right. I want to thank Sean for being here this morning. I know this is probably very busy, very tough morning for him. Uh, before I let you go, reminder, uh, links below for the new comic, uh, The Bad Guy. Uh, also, links to the Substack with all my episode recaps. And be sure to come back Monday uh, for Power Rankings with Franny Merritt. Have a great weekend.